An essential part of the Artemis II mission made right here in the Rocket City is on its way to Florida. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay tells us how the first flight around the moon in almost 50 years would not be possible without Huntsville. Take a look at Saturn V outside the Space and Rocket Center. You see this part here that's a little bit cone shaped. Well, I'm told that is called the Launch Vehicle Stage Adapter. It is a necessary part of a NASA rocket and today I got to look at one up close and personal. Today was a big day because we're shipping the LVSA, which is a launch vehicle stage adapter. This cone shaped part may not look like much, but it's crucial to NASA's first flight around the moon in almost 50 years. It connects to the main piece. So the main piece gets you out of Earth's orbit. This piece says, OK, wait a minute, there's a second stage that we've got to be able to get people to the moon. So this is a piece which allows those two to connect together and say, oh, this is how you can make this happen. Arlen Cochran leads transportation and operation logistics at the Marshall Space Flight Center. The LVSA is about 40 feet tall, a small fraction of the total 322 feet that will soon be Artemis II. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty by 20 feet. That rocket would not be possible without the LVSA. It's being loaded onto the Pegasus Barge where it will sail down the Tennessee River picking up some parts along the way and it will end up at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The fruits of everybody's labor come together and, and uh, that's, we're on our way. Keith Higginbotham and his team spent about four years making this part. He says it's a moment worth waiting for, but there's still a long road to go before Artemis II makes it into orbit. It's exciting to see it together. I, I like to see things built and being able to follow from cradle to grave. The Artemis II mission manager tells me they plan to take off in September 2025. He says four astronauts will be aboard it. I'm in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.